listen to me, y'all gonna get the punishment. Right. Ain't no different than I, the parents now. Like, you tell on. your son, hey, don't stand on my couch. All right? I, I spend money on this couch. It's right. my couch. All right? Now your friends come over and they start jumping all over the couch. Are you gonna whoop the friends? Right. You might want to. Man, it's gonna come up. Right. But you gonna, you didn't tell them not to do it. Right. But you, your is mine. Because I told you what to do. Right. And because of your bad example, now you're making everybody else do it. Right. That's what's going on with us, bro. Right. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots. No excuse. Let's push this through. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew. Get ready. We coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Hey. Israel, united in Christ, is a non violent, Bible based movement. Are you I see? The Lord Jesus Christ, right? Everybody knows about Jesus Christ. Every country, everywhere you go into this earth, that's like the number one most popular character in history, right? That's our forefather. Like, I want you to sink that in. The Lord came out of Judah. Let's read that one more time. We're going to go right back there. When we read about Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, he's not just a, a, a mysterious, whatever you call it, type of man. He, does, he existed. And he didn't just exists for everybody right read that hebrews chapter 7 verse 14 for it is evident that our lord there's evidence meaning there's historical data proof lineage family all that documentation evidence that what that our lord that jesus christ sprang out of judah is a black man that's right that's what it's saying you got to realize how important that is for our people the greatest man that ever touched this whole earth is literally the bloodline of where we come from. Right. That's important. That's why we're the greatest. Go back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Watch. Because, like he was saying earlier, everything that you put us in, bro, everything that we involve ourselves in, we naturally go to the top. You know that's right. I know you know. You know. You know too, my brother. Everything that we do, we're the best at it. Name me one thing that we've done where a black man is not Reach number one. Name you. Go ahead. Try. Try. Try to think of one. Everything. Every damn thing. Everything. Golf, soccer, <laughs> video games, exactly. doctors, yeah. music, yeah. musics. That don't make no sense. <laughs> Musicians. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The acting industry, all of that stuff. Naturally, we the best at it, all of it. Why? Read. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. Oh. For thou art in holy people. Because you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's us. We, God said we are holy people, right? Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. When he designed all the different nations of people on this earth, he made our people special. We're separate. We're different. Read. Unto himself, uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. I want you to read that again. Above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. What is the black man and black woman? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. What are our Hispanic and Native American black men and women? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We are not equal to everybody on this earth. That's right. We got to get that through our thick skulls now. But it's all good because we got brothers like him that are waking up. Brothers like y'all that came to the camp today, you're learning now. 
You've already had some ideas going in your mind. You're looking at the news. Everything is happening to our people day in and day out. 2024 still going on. Our people are starting to think now the spirit is moving on this earth. And we're starting to learn who we are. We are not equal. But guess what? How come in every state, every community, the lowest of the lowest is us? Think about it. We're the greatest of all people. The Bible said it. It's proof. Every little industry you put us in, we're the greatest. But why when it comes to our neighborhoods? Why when it comes to our families? Why when it comes to our spirit? We're the most defeated people on this earth. How do we fall so low? Have you thought about that? That's by design. By design? Okay, what do you think? Probably the same? What do you think? Uh, oppressors. Uh, well, oppressors, okay. I like all your answers. You understand? Because we're going to read the history, we're going to read the prophecy, and we're going to point out what's exactly happening. That's number, the number one thing they don't teach us in, in Christian church. I know that for sure. Christian church is mostly about faith, belief, and uh, ties, past the collection play, right? You know what I'm saying? But the understanding of why we fell so low as a nation of people, how you doing, brother? Is we we have we we have we've been given something to follow by our, our Lord and Savior, but we haven't obeyed His Lord His words, and that's what happens. I'm gonna show y'all proof of that though. Watch, give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all His commandments. We all feel it. It's all good. This is gonna keep on going. You understand? Read it again. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is, say, is saying to our forefathers, he said, "Listen, if you don't listen to God's words, something is going to happen to us as a people." Read. To observe, to do all His commandments uh -huh. and His statutes, which I command thee this day, yep. that all these curses right. shall come upon thee and overtake. Thee. It says all of the curses are going to come upon y'all, overtake you. It's going to repeat over and over, over and over in a cycle. The problem with the Christian church is it does not point that flaw out and says this is where we are. They don't do that. You know why? Because they live in a false reality. Right. Oh, we're saved. How? Last time I checked, there was a Sonya Massey that just happened. Am I sa is she saved? No. We are not saved. You 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 know the script for that? The 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 son is yes, sir. Let me let me show you something real quick. We're not saved as a people. I praise the most high. Because we're still living in the curses. We are the ones that need a savior. What did, what did, what did they call Jesus Christ? The what? Our Lord and it, Okay. We're the only race of people that know we need a savior because life ain't right right now. These curses, read. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 20. That's it. The harvest is past. Uh -huh. The summer is ended. Uh -huh. And we are not saved. We are what? We are not saved. How can the Christian church say we're saved when the Bible says we're not? Tell me, Pastor, what does this mean? Bring it out. If y'all went to church today, you going you y'all went to church today? No. No? No? Cool. Perfect. <laughs> I want the pastor to answer this question. It says we are not. But you're telling everybody that we are, yeah. making them feel a false sense of reality. Then you pass the collection plate and you say, all right, go ahead. Why are you feeling happy and good <laughs> while the music is going? Go ahead and throw that in there. We saved. And look, we're not, we're not destroying our brothers and sisters in there because some of them don't know. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, they know about us. Some of them don't know what's going on at all. They, they haven't woken up yet, right? So we hope and pray that our people repent. That's not the, you know, but... We don't learn the truth in church. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. Bring it out. All right, we're going to go to verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Because the curse, the whole point of the curses is to get us to wake up and come back to God's commandments. If we don't do that, the curses are going to continue to still come. You understand so far? Read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Why are the curses happening to us? 
Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. We're going to read it again. Why does the curses keep happening to us? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we don't listen to God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You said it plain and simple. Yeah. We don't listen to God, bro. We know what God be saying to us. We hear the videos. We know what's right and what's wrong. Come on. You can you tell me all the black people that haven't read a Bible before? Down to the music, the women, all of the that. People, everything. There's certain things that we know we ain't doing right as a nation of people. And be proud of it, bro. But then we be the first ones crying like, yo, why, why is all this happening to us? It's spiritual. We getting our ass whipped. You see what I'm saying? We got to get right, bro. Yeah. Read on. To keep his commandments right. and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the curses are going to continue to whip our ass as a wake-up sign. You understand? Y'all remember growing up, you did something wrong, your parents, they go running and get the belt. You hit a little, you hit a buckle, click one behind the door, and you, you, you straighten up, then you're like, oh shoot, belt's coming out. He might come out, he might not even whip you yet. You got the belt in his hand, yo. That's that sign letting the, oh, all right, let me get myself together. That's what the curses is doing to us now. Every time we turn on the news, bro, every time we wake up, every time something's always happening to us as a people, whole worldwide. Bring it up. That's that sign. That's that spiritual belt. Like, look, remember what I told you. You remember what I told you. You remember what I told you. All right? You don't want to listen? There goes another one. That's what's going on. But it's our job to come out here and show our people. You know why? Because somebody showed us. You think we're just going to hold it to ourselves? It's the greatest information in the world, Craig. You see what I'm saying? We out here to show everybody this stuff. Nope. Read on. And they shall be upon thee. Read on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. To make you wonder what the hell is going on with us. This is not right. You telling me the greatest people on the earth can't own a business? Right. The greatest people on the earth can't invest? The greatest people on the earth can't have uh, two uh, parents in a household? Right. The greatest people on the earth can't get rid of addictions. We can't marry our women. Bring it up. We treat them like trash, just like the white man treats our, our women like trash. Right. You telling me we're gonna help him do that to our people, the greatest people on the earth? No. Read it again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Even to our children and their children and their children and their children. We ain't just gonna pass the buck and be like, all right, I took the, I took the, uh, the L. We good now. Nope. Son, daughter, our children, they about to have the same thing if we don't get ourselves right. right. It's gonna get passed to the next generation. And guess what, newsflash? It's getting more evil today. Right. right. You already know it is. What? When we were kids growing up in school, we ain't had to worry about no, like the stuff that they worry about now? Bro, the evils are increasing. The evils are increasing. You can put a remote in the child's hand. You don't even got to worry about uh, if they go to a wrong website. They can go to YouTube. That's right. What was deemed as explicit is easily for a four-year-old, three-year-old, eight-year-old to just grab and look at it. High definition. No parental blocks. None of that. That means what? The people that's running these things are allowing that to happen. Right. You understand that? Y'all do know that the people that run the media outlets... They're okay. They screen all of that stuff. Right. Oh, oh. We go. Hey, guess what? We got another video of uh, this black lady showing her goodies. Oh, this is gonna be great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put it to the top. Teach y'all. Raise the algorithm. Right. When all the black people in their communities, because we we know their Google information now, when they go to YouTube, that that be the first thing they see. Right. Ooh, this household has four daughters. Push it heavy on that one. Right. Why is that okay? That's because we are in the cursed state right now. There's a solution. I'm going to give you all a solution. I want to point out to you why everything is happening. You understand? Right. Read on. Because thou serveth not the Lord thy God. Woo. Perfect how that came in right there. This is happening because what? Because thou serveth not the Lord thy God. Right. Because he said a point. He said the Lord who God? Who does, what did he say? Your God. The Lord thy God. Hold that real quick. 
go to Joel 227. The Lord thy God. What does that mean when it says the Lord thy God? How come the Bible don't say the Lord God? They're talking about uh, when he's talking to his people. He's talking to his people. Yeah. Okay, what you think? You know already. What you think? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What you think? Why don't say, oh, the Lord God? Or the, the God, the, it's everybody. Not, it's not to everybody. It's not to everybody. That's a, that's a heavy point. Not everybody knows that information. Right. Y'all just leveled up just now. <laughs> this Bible is crazy. Read. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Uh -huh. And he shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. He said, you shall know that I'm in the middle of Israel. Not everybody in the earth. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. I'm the Lord what? Your God. Read. And none else. And what? And none else. I'm the Lord your God, you black and Hispanic man and woman. That's right. I'm your God and none else. Man, that thing put a smile on my face, bro. Right. What? The God that created the heaven and the earth is the Lord our God and none else? Man, let me highlight that. I need proof. But when I say it, people don't call me stupid. It's right here in the Bible. Right. Matter of fact, go to the one in Amos. Amos 3, right? Yes, sir. Amos 3 and 1? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Watch this. Because it ain't just in one spot. Oh, you just pick one spot. Now they're going to teach that one little part. No. Read. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Right. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Who's the audience we're talking to? The children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, uh -huh. saying, You only what? have I known, you only have I known uh -huh. of all the families of the earth. You are the only ones that I have a personal relationship with out of all the other families of the earth. Right. Saying the same thing. Watch this though. Watch. Therefore, I will punish you. Because of that, I'm going to punish you. What? Therefore, I will punish you. I'm going to punish everybody. For you. I'm going to punish everybody. You. I'm going to punish you. For all your iniquities. For all whose iniquities? Uh, for all your iniquities. Because y'all didn't listen to me, y'all going to get the punishment. Right. Ain't no different than I, the parents now. Like you tell mom. your son, hey, don't stand on my couch. All right? I, I spend money on this couch. This is right. my couch. All right? Now your friends come over and they start jumping all over the couch. Are you going to whip the friends? Right. You might want to. Man, it's gonna come up. Right. But you go, you didn't tell them not to do it. Right. But you, your is mine. Because I told you what to do. Right. And because of your bad example, now you're making everybody else do it. Right. That's what's going on with us, bro. Right. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Yes, sir. What, what verse was that? Uh 47. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. Bro, you got a, you got a slide, bro? All right. You got a fly, right? Yeah, I got the man. Yo, hey, get, call us. Yeah, man. Call and now you come on. We're about to get to the good part. Hey, I'm a truck driver now. I got to go. Oh, okay. I understand. Yeah. I'm a truck driver. Yeah, I, start, I went to high school with him. All right, all right. Yeah. Man, it's about to get good, bro. Because he was talking about the enemy earlier. Jacob yeah. Lee saw. Yeah. My man with the lock, you got to leave here with. Yeah. I'm with it, though. I got to My old lady, she been in an accident. Yeah. I got you. sit too long, so. I got you. I got you. I ain't had to go because of that. I'll be yeah. here, though. I understand. I feel you. Yeah. Call yeah. it, bro. Call yeah. it. Hey, we got a school. Yeah. yeah. We got a school right there in Columbia. Yeah, okay. Every Saturday. Let's go. Yeah, man. Hey, you and the unlocks. You ain't got over there. You trying to slide. What's the name, by the way? What's the name? Warren? Yeah, bring her over. Where's she at? Yeah, we got stuff we got to do. That's why I, I came over here. Man, man. Right, you know we got stuff to do with us too, man. We got stuff to do. We ain't, we ain't just sitting around. We got to be busy, bro. But we came out here for this. Y'all got to come out here for this. All right, bro. Hey, listen. Warren, how much time you got? Honestly, how much time you got? I know because I know who she is. So. You, you, she know you at? No. Where's she at? What car she at? Oh. Alright, man, she'll, she'll hear us. Let's speak aloud. Alright, 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 I understand, man. Alright, bro, hey, call us, call us. Yeah, yes, sir. Hey, All praises. Lying. All praises. Yeah, alright, so get, get that again. Deuteronomy 28, what verse? 47? Yes, sir. Alright. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. My brother in a white uh, hat and my sister in the purple. How y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? Okay, cool, cool. Hey, listen, when you finish loading your car, 
If you could do us a favor, just come over here real quick for about two, two minutes of your time. We're going over the Bible right now. I know you got questions. Our people got questions, so we come out here to answer questions. That's all. That's all. If you got a couple of moments of your time, we'd love to show you some information. Because we are the children of Israel, as the Bible is speaking. Right. You understand? And because of our sin, the reason why we're going through curses today is because we have disobeyed God's commandments. And that's what the Bible says. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is 